Massive strides have been made on the Fallout 3 scripted video, which is all about defending and properly analysing the game as well as the aggro the game sees itself in due to Bethesda's rocky history after Fallout 4 released. The aim with this video is to defend the game against any unjustified scrutiny and just iron out general opinions of certain aspects. But what is my opinion of the game? I never said this video that I'm currently making is about sharing my opinion of the game. I mean, the few times I express my opinion of it, it is just left to a vague I love this game expression, which doesn't really mean anything when I say the same thing for New Vegas as well as every other game I like playing. That video is purely about playing the lawyer for Fallout 3. I do express specific opinions outwardly about aspects in the game, like saying things are genius and maybe even perfect. I don't take back what I say about those aspects, but my overall opinion. Where do I scale Fallout 3 against the others? Well, first of all, I don't think or even like to think in that way. It is a dark path to just go down considering the comparisons between each title chalking up which one classifies as the best in my own belief, which then leaves the other titles in the dust. For me personally, that way of thinking within myself is toxic, and it ends up ruining my experiences of the game, and is probably why I don't exactly get swayed from public opinions since I keep my thinking to a black and white outlook, deciding which experience I like and don't like. I also don't rank things in my mind, so we cannot determine my opinion in that sense either. But here is my opinion of Fallout 3 in the best way that I can describe it. Fallout 3 is one of the games of all time. Looking at the game with its undisputable facts, it earned Game of the Year, was the best open world apocalyptic game of the time because it captured a lot of elements to a great degree, and it provided something not given elsewhere. I look at the experience of Fallout 3 and see what and why the developers do things, then interpret and analyse the reason for why they did it. I play the game through the developer's eyes and enjoy the experience that much more because I now understand one way or the way it is supposed to be seen and it's beautiful. There could be elements of the game that I wouldn't otherwise enjoy until I project the purpose of its existence and then I begin to appreciate and love it. Every other game is seen by me in the same exact way, even Fallout New Vegas. Things are never really stacked up against each other fully, placed above something else or compared to something else. I mean, being fully realistic, I am human. Of course, I subconsciously do these things still. And I am still capable of consciously thinking just like others who enjoy Fallout. However, it's like wearing a hat. I can wear one hat or another. In terms of how I think, I can think one way or the other. Primarily, I think this way and thus can never fully confidently say if I prefer one game over another. But I could if I really wanted to. And like I just said, my primary way of thinking is this way. So even if I did think about it the other way round and discovered which Fallout I did prefer, it would be false. Since that is not who I am. That is not my actual beliefs. Games are relatively isolated from each other in my mind. So I get to judge, look and appreciate the experience in front of me individually. There is a real benefit to this, since I get to enjoy each game to the fullest. Maybe even enjoy New Vegas much more than the community that shouts out every hour of every day that it is better than Fallout 3. Regardless, my opinion is that I love Fallout 3. No more, no less than Fallout New Vegas.